Okay, so here's our challenge today, 4 minus 4 times 4 minus 4. And a lot of students may be saying, okay, mister, this is the easiest challenge I've ever seen, subtraction, multiplication, this is the easiest math operation, I learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. Four options right here, we don't have like a huge number, so this is the easiest challenge I've ever seen. But a lot of students, um, in the same way, they solve this question absolutely wrong, and it turns into a big argument, so right now I suggest you to pause the video, try to solve it by yourself. What do you think is the correct answer to this challenge? 0, 1, 4, and minus 16, this is really great to check up answers in the end of the video and I give maybe 98% that you solve this question absolutely wrong. So here's our challenge and let's rewrite this challenge right here. So what do we have? We have 4 minus 4 times 4 minus 4. So here's our challenge. And a lot of students say, okay, right here we have subtraction, we have multiplication, we have subtraction, but uh, we have the same expression on left and right. We have 4 minus 4 right here, which is equal to 0. Right here we have the same 4 minus 4, which is equal to 0, with this multiplication in the middle, so 0 times 0, which gives us the result of 0. And we have this option, this is option, option A. Another part of students say, okay, let's, this is like our first interpretation, okay, let's look at it. Second interpretation, a lot of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, we have 4 minus 4 times 4 minus 4. From left to right, we know that we should go from left to right, so 4 minus 4 equal to 0, yes, so right here we have 0, times 4, we still have times 4 minus 4, so 0 times 4 gives us the result of 4, yeah, and 4 minus, uh, 0, sorry, and 0 times 4, they're equal to minus 4. Okay, students solve this question like that also, but as you can see, we don't have this option. So this is a wrong, wrong interpretation. So forget about this interpretation. But I want you to write the third interpretation. Okay, third interpretation looks like that. We have 4 minus 4 times 4 minus 4. Okay, here's our third interpretation. And in terms of math, it's really great to know about order of operation, because it's really great to, to solve this question correctly and step by step. And it's not works, works only in terms of math. For example, in biology, we should know what is the correct definition, correct, uh, correct rule, correct property. Yeah? And according to math, we should know what is the correct order of operation, because right here, obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer. As you can see right here, we have, we have four. Right here, we had zero, so we, we can't solve this challenge with two different solutions. Uh, just agree with me, in terms of math, it's really weird to solve this challenge with different solution. And in this third interpretation, let's solve this challenge according to this correct order of operation, because this is the most popular order of operation in the world, so let's solve this third, inter solve this third uh, challenge according to um, this PEMDAS order of operation, okay? So right here we have a lot of steps, so first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses, next we should evaluate exponents, next we should evaluate multiplication division group and the last of each addition subtraction group okay so let's scan what elements do we have in our challenge we have subtraction right here and we have multiplication right here so subtraction where do we have we have subtraction right here in this moment and we don't have addition we don't have division we have multiplication yeah we don't have exponents we don't have parentheses okay so we have only two steps and as i told before higher position it means that uh, this element had the higher priority so multiplication had the higher position than subtraction so it means first we should multiply and next we should subtract so let's look at it where do we have multiplication sign multiplication sign we have right here so it means that we should go with four minus and right here this is our first step multiplication four times four gives us 16 and we have minus four and right now, basic subtraction cancel this 4 and 4, and as a result, we have minus 16, and we have this option D. And a lot of students confused about this solution, how it happens. Three interpretations, three different solutions, but what is the correct answer and the correct solution? Let's go through the steps real quick. First solution, this is a very bad solution, because we solve it mm, absolutely randomly, absolutely chaotically, we just subtract it first, then multiply, which is really bad thing in terms of math. With parentheses, this is a great approach, because then we should... Mm, subtract expression inside parentheses, this is really great. And right here, subtract expression inside parentheses also, and then subtraction has the higher priority than multiplication because of this parentheses step. Parentheses has the highest priority. In our case, we don't have parentheses, so forget about this option zero, which is absolutely wrong in our case. What about this solution? 4 minus 4 times 4 minus 4, we just subtract it first, then multiplication, okay? As you can see, absolutely the same mistake as we made before, because right here, subtraction, then multiplication, it's really bad thing. With parentheses, this is a okay solution, because next we should subtract inside parentheses, so subtract 4 minus 4 inside parentheses, which gives us 0, and then times 4 minus 4, okay, right here, multiplication, and the last step, subtraction outside parentheses. So minus 4 is a correct answer with parentheses. In our case, we don't have 
parentheses, so forget about this second interpretation. Our last hope, our third interpretation. What about this third interpretation? Multiplication, then subtraction from left to right. So the correct answer is 16. So this is absolutely correct solution because we solve it according to a correct order of operation. So our correct answer to this challenge, this is option D. I hope you're answering it the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, I have a lot of challenges. If you don't trust me, you can easily check this answer in your in our scientific or graphing calculator, but don't use a regular calculator because you know sometimes happen that those calculators work with problems as you type it in. So for example, we have challenge and calculators uh, solve this challenge like that. So I give 99%, you can, you can check it with me right now. If you have a calculator, your calculator gives you minus 4. I give 99% because then you calculators look okay i have 4 minus 4 and i give you a zero then you uh, plug in uh, times 4 and then minus 4 and then with this step by step plugging in to the to your telephone your, your answer is minus 4 but try to find a calculator where you can plug in the whole entire problem the whole 4 minus 4 times 4 minus 4 because then your calculator is smart enough and then your calculators look at your challenge um, um, at full uh, like a uh, whole challenge your calculator see a whole challenge 4 minus 4 times 4 minus 4 and then your calculator okay i have multiplication so i should start with this multiplication okay so try to find a calculator where you can plug in the whole entire problem it it happens sometimes that a regular calculator gives you minus four or zero it happens sometimes but try to find a calculator where you can plug in the whole entire problem so definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of videos on my youtube channel so see you in the next videos and have a great day